January 2003, Cape Canaveral, NASA's launch base in Florida. A gigantic building of 3.6 million cubic centimeters, a volume that could accommodate more than 100,000 containers. Here, astronauts on the next space mission try on their spacesuits. It's a solemn moment, especially for those going into space for the first time, as is the case for flight surgeon Laura Park. Jonathan Clark is Laurel's husband. He remembers his wife's joy at being selected for this mission. The first time she applied in 1994, she was pregnant, very big, and they didn't take her, but they still went through the selection. The next cycle was 1996, and she was selected. So she was unbelievably excited. Alongside astronaut Clark, those who would share the 16-day mission, an exclusively scientific assignment to analyze the effects of microgravity on living organisms. Philippe Perrin knew the mission crew very well. The French astronaut trained alongside them at NASA. C'était au départ un groupe de, de copains. Il y avait à son bord le premier astronaute israélien, Ilan Ramon. Il y avait le, le copilote Willy McCool, qui était un de mes proches. Il y avait aussi une, une Américaine d'origine indienne et experte en bras robotiques, Kalpana. Il y avait un autre garçon qui était de ma promo quand on a rejoint la NASA quelques années avant, David. Et puis Mike, un ancien. Et c'était un équipage avec qui j'avais eu en fait une grande envie de voler. Leading the crew was astronaut Rick Husband, aged 45. This was his second manned flight his first as commander. He felt it was a huge honor to be the commander, and um, it's a very unusual thing. But before the launch, he called each of the parents of the crew members and that told them what a blessing it had been to have their son or daughter in the crew and how honored he was to fly in space with them. And so he really made a contact with all the families. It was truly a family, all of us. They spend a lot of time working together on the various uh, activities that are going to be expected when they're on orbit.